Hello, here we are with an unboxing of the HTC Desire C, one of the latest handsets from HTC. Here's the official packaging uh, for this product. So we can see that it's also known as the A320EN and it's an Android handset with HTC Sense. It's got a 600 megahertz processor, 4 gig of internal memory, 3.5 inch touchscreen, 5 megapixel camera, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, micro USB, NFC, Bluetooth, micro SD card, Wi-Fi, Beats Audio, uh, as per many other devices that HTC now offer. So let's uh, get into the box and as you can see it's using very clean recyclable packaging here, um, environmentally friendly like that for the One X, the One S and the One V. So here is the Desire C, we'll come back to that in a moment. So this is a lower end handset from HTC coming with Android version 4 pre-installed. We've got a bit of documentation here showing you uh, what the buttons are on the device and a bit of how to uh, get up and start it on here. We've got the safety information there. Then provided in the box we've got a 3-pin UK mains adapter which has on the top a uh, USB port for connecting this the micro USB sync and charge cable for charging the device you can also use this cable to connect it to a computer and then you've got a set of very basic in-ear 3.5 millimeter jack headphones with inline uh, microphone there so to the device itself then so this one is the black version but we also have it available in white you can see that they're uh, identical with the exception of the back cover and the ring around the camera lens and then around the front you've got the same sort of design but there's uh, silver on the white one and it's all uh, grey or black on this model. So let's take a look in more detail. So we've got the back button here, the home key and then we've got a apps key so that's like your task manager key Let's just remove the uh, screen protector. So we've got here the 3.5 inch touchscreen display. It's HVGA resolution, so 320 by 480. Got the HTC logo. We've got the uh, sort of speaker at the top here, and we've got this sort of very thin silver bezeling around the side. On the bottom, we've got a microphone. On the other side, we've got a volume rocker key. On the top we've got the power button, we've then got a 3.5mm headphone jack and on the other side we've got the micro USB charging port. Coming over to the back we've got the camera and the loudspeaker. So the camera on this device is 5 megapixels. There's no flash on this which is a bit of a disappointment uh, but it is a lower end handset so that's one of the reasons why um, it's not on here. We've got the HTC logo embossed on the back. We've got the Beats Audio. So what you get is you get Beats Audio technology built in here. There's no headphones or no Beats headphones, but when you connect in a set of headphones, you'll get a better audio experience as a result. So let's get this device powered on. Whilst that's powering up, I'll just pull off the back cover to show you under here we've got this red internal we've got the battery under the battery is the standard sim card slot and the battery itself is 1230 milliamp hours and then we've got a micro SD card slot on the side here the phone itself weighs about a hundred grams so it's fairly lightweight you've got all your Google services you've got an FM radio you've got NFC on this which is uh, quite interesting to see on a lower end handset and shows how phones are developing We've got all the G sensors on this device so you can orientate it in portrait and landscape mode. You've got Wi-Fi, you've got Bluetooth, you've got 3G on here as well. So there's plenty to get you going. Um, the limitations really are the internal memory. It's 4 gig, but you've got the uh, micro SD slot there to actually expand it. So it's just booting up now. You have, of course, got HTC Sense version 4 on it. It's the very latest 
uh, version to get you up and going and give you a little bit of a different experience to the stock Android um, experience that you get on a lot of handsets. And it's one of the features that makes uh, HTC stand out. So the device is now booted and we're just going to give you a quick tour of the software. So you've got your home screens which you can scroll through like so. Now these are all customizable so you just literally press and hold on here and you can add different types of widgets. You've got a whole menu um, through which you can actually go through and uh, choose different things and add to your home screen. You can select the one you want and uh, it'll add it to the home screen. You can of course uh, add and remove apps by pressing and holding and dragging them to the location. So we've connected up over Wi-Fi. Let's just show you uh, the web browser on here. So it's just going to uh, Google there. So we're in portrait mode at the moment, but we can orientate it into landscape mode if we choose. We can type in landscape mode as well. There we go, we can browse the web, we can go to HTC's website and we can view the page, we can pinch and zoom in if we choose. It's just taken a second to load up over the Wi-Fi here, but you can navigate around. Um, it displays full desktop websites. A lot of the time it will default to mobile sites, but you can uh, choose your options and decide how you actually want to, to view the web. So it's quite a compact actual phone, sat in, in the palm of your hand, it, it's quite small, um, feels quite quite nice. If you're not into big phones then uh, this could be a suitable candidate for you because of uh, the size of it. So there we are, let's just go in, you can see you've got lots of different applications, you can uh, scroll through the menu like so, so you've got your calendar, you've got Dropbox included on here, Facebook, Google+, Gmail, you've got your gallery, navigation, maps, Polaris office, so you can do documents on the move, lots of options there. Let's just go into the camera and show you uh, some of the things here. So the light's not actually um, great here at the moment, but you've got a series of settings from the timer to the resolution to the video quality um, available to you. Because this is HTC, you'll now see you've got the shutter or video recording button there. This is part of HTC's image sense. And what you can do is you can either record photos or videos from the one screen. You can uh, zoom in if you choose using the uh, zoom bar at the bottom and you can click into your gallery here. You can uh, choose the photograph mode, whether it be automatic, uh, portrait, landscape or low light. You've got different effects that you can apply to the photo as well. So enough to get you uh, going on the camera and keep you uh, fairly interested. You've got your sort of standard messaging applications where you can compose a message and you can do that in portrait and landscape mode as well. You've then got the uh, options to change the languages, now English and French are offered here, but you can add more by uh, going into uh, the settings. I'll just show you how to do that. So, settings within the applications here take you through, and you can go through to language and keyboard, and then you can. Um, Go into sense input and the keyboard selection and you can choose one of these languages from the list in terms of uh, input for your actual keyboard. So that's just a quick look at the HTC Desire C that's available from clove.co.uk.